Hey guys, before we even begin this video, the lovely people at Okashi Crate sent me their product to unbox for you guys. So Okashi Crate is a newer um, snack subscription box company. I have not opened this crate yet. I have just cut the tape. So we are going to open it and experience it together. Oh, I love how you can color the inside. So it looks very nicely packed. I see here we have the 2021 January crate that they had sent me. Wow, we have a lot of full-sized products here. Calbi. Some more Calbi chips. These are massive. This is my hand for reference. All right, I see a DIY sushi candy kit. This is gonna be fun to do. I really can't wait to try this. We have Tahoto little cookies. These look amazing. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna share these. <laughs> they look too good. I think I'm gonna keep those for myself. Uh, little animal crackers covered in chocolate and it looks like you can get um, an ox and a duck and uh, they tell you the name of the animals in Japanese up here. Very cute, especially for those learning Japanese. We have these little banana, I think they're marshmallows. Oh, we get specialty Pringles. Fantastic. And the thing that is amazing about this crate is they allow you to pick one item every single month that you really want to try. Uh, so this month I picked these cola gummies because I love Japanese cola gummies. They melt in your mouth. They taste so good and you just can't get the same thing here in America. Um, for those of you who don't know, I used to live in Japan and I loved the snacks so much. So a box like this is just so fun to review. We have Gabunomi soda here. And if any of you have had their melon cream soda, you guys know what's up. I am so excited to try this one. It looks so delicious. And we have a lot of little snacks here. These are um, perfect if you want to keep them in your purse or if you just want little snacks throughout the day or if you just want to try a bunch of different kind of uh, little Japanese foods. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen these types of lollipops in forever. We have ramene, it uh, looks like sakura and um, yuzu. Wow, these look delicious. We have some umaibo candies here, though this is not the traditional umaibo little rusk candy. So I am very excited to open this and see what it is. So looking at their little newsletter, it sees here which one is in your crate, which one do you want to choose, and these were the three that you could have chose from, and I chose this one. While I love Haichu and Ramane, I really wanted the Melty Coke gummies. Um, we see here, these are all the flavors in the January crate. It looks like they have little cartoons, they have customer reviews if you wanted to see what other people thought of past crates, and they have a step-by-step -step guide for making your DIY snack. This is the only thing I dislike about Japan Crate is that they don't offer directions for their DIY snacks. Um, but Okashi Crate does, so if you're afraid of messing up your snacks, don't worry. Okashi Crate has you covered. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. I hope you guys got to see all the wonderful full-sized snacks that you get in your monthly crate subscription. And I really hope you guys check out Okashi Crate. So if you would like to purchase your own crate, I will have the link to Okashi Crate down in the description box below. It will be the very first link on the top. Please go check them out. They're a small business. They just got started and they allow you to choose your own snacks, which is really exciting. So yeah, let's get to your reading. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Holly and Ash Tarot. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ash and my spirit guide's name is Holly. Today we are going to be doing for the 12 days of Tarot instead of the 12 days of Christmas. 
Um, we are going to be doing good karma coming for you in 2021. Let's see all the great energy that you guys get to cash in, all the beautiful and wonderful things that are going to be coming for you in 2021. We are going to be picking with stones today. So the first one is citrine. The second one is fluorite. Is that in the middle? And the last one is black tourmaline. So please take a moment to see which one pops out at you or which one calls to you. Um, while we take a moment, I would like to remind you that I do offer personalized readings and channeled messages. Uh, so if you would like one, my email is down below, hollyandashtaro at gmail.com. Um, please send me an email and I will send you my price list. If you would like to donate to the Energy Exchange, my Cash App and my PayPal are down below. It would help me a lot and it will help me keep being able to fund this channel. And uh, all proceeds from both readings and donations also go to groceries and uh, taking care of my dog. So um, no pressure though. If you can't, I totally understand. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there because it would really help me quite a bit. I know uh, this year has been very difficult for everybody. Um, if you have not picked yet, then please pause the video and do so now. But I'm going to get started with number one, which is going to be citrine. Hello to those of you who picked pile number one, which is citrine. Let's see what good karmic blessings are coming your way. I am going to get started here with the wisdom of the oracle because that deck is popping out to me what good blessings are coming for people who pick pile number one okay lots of cards i am going to ask again and see if these cards come out the same way there we go Interesting. I mean, can I get a clarifier for time to go in reverse? Okay. And on the bottom, we have co create. Um, so next year is going to be a really wonderful time for you to manifest and create your dream life. And also for healing, we have poised. So next year you are going to be taking it, uh, really well. There's not going to be any huge challenges that knock you down or anything like that. If anything, your blessings are very interesting. Um, the best way I can kind of describe this is sort of like, I hope you guys can see everything in the frame. I know this rock is a little gaudy. The best way I can describe it is sort of like your good karma, I feel like for some people might be a bad thing, but this is actually a really, really good thing. Next year is just going to be a year off. This is a year of stagnation um, because it's a year that you learn how to take care of yourself better here with yin in reverse. It's a year where you learn how to manifest things and bring more of your dreams and ideas to life. I do see that you're probably going to be having a spiritual awakening next year. That's really going to help you um, propel yourself towards the future, especially because we have Imagine in reverse um, with co-create on the bottom of the deck here. Um, this is letting me know that next year is the perfect time for planning, for resting, for healing, uh, for doing your self work and for creating where you want to go from here. Okay. Because with building blocks in reverse, I see here that there is a chance that 2020 could have ruined something you thought you were really building for yourself or it may have kind of 
messed up your plans or just made things really difficult. Uh, so some of you guys might be kind of like, oh, like, what do I do now? What is my calling in life? Um, I do feel like next year is going to be a very chill, mellow year. And this is good karma coming in for you because even though while it can seem frustrating, um, this is going to be amazing for your personal growth and your spiritual growth. You guys are going to be growing so much next year in such a positive way. We have here and now in reverse. So next year, it's sort of like... Next year is going to teach you how to ground yourself. That's basically what I, what I want to say. Um, because, you know, it's hard not to live too in the future and it's hard not to reflect too much on the past. Next year is going to be a good time for you to just stand still for a little bit with time to go in reverse. Um, and just finish those reflections, finish these healings. Um, we have a message in a bottle in reverse. So this is saying that you're going to kind of stop relying so much maybe on tarot readings or too much on your spirituality um, or stop relying so much on just your logic. You might have been leaning a little too far one way or the other. Your karmic blessings that are coming in 2021 are really going to ground you. They're going to bring you back to your power. Uh, you are going to be the baddest bitch alive. Like you are just going to be able to come out of it feeling like you can take on the world and everything is yours. The world is yours. We do have the tribe in reverse. So, <laughs> and I know a lot of things, um, can see more as like a curse than a blessing, but I swear this will be a blessing. Uh, and it may not always be easy, but you're going to come out of it being like, Oh my God, I'm so glad I experienced that. Uh, now I can do this. Now I know myself better. Now I know how to, you know, do this or that, or I decided I wanted to be on this path. Um, and maybe some of you guys also might, level up your spiritual abilities as well. So if you guys have been working on your spirituality, get ready, okay? Because those downloads are going to be coming. We have the tribe in reverse. You are going through this uh, because you are getting ready to meet your soul tribe, okay? You're going to be away from your soul tribe a little bit longer. But all of this, this whole awakening is preparing you for these people that are going to be extremely close to you for the rest of your life. Like these are your people. And for those of you who have already met your soul tribe, uh, then this year is going to be taking a step back from them. So you can sort of rediscover yourself before you join them again. Spirit is asking for you to be flexible when these things happen, because again, um, they can seem really frustrating. Nobody likes stagnation. You know, we always just want to go, go, go. We want everything we want now. Um, but just enjoy it. Okay. Enjoy things when they slow down and take the opportunity to enjoy hobbies, enjoy friends and family, um, to work on things that have been hurting you to work on the way you approach relationships or the way you allow certain things happen to you work on, um, things that are not so great, work on unhealthy, uh, mechanisms and coping mechanisms and unhealthy eating or, um, anything at all. It can even be working on, um, tidiness as well, or working on relationships because this year is all about, is going to be all about rejuvenation for you guys. Okay. You guys have a lot of very wonderful things coming for you guys. You guys have a break. All right. If this year was exhausting for you, next year is your break. Okay. It's your little vacation in life. It's going to be so good for you guys. What other blessings are karmic blessings? Sorry. What other karmic blessings are coming? Um, we have justice. Okay. So you guys are going to get justice about a certain situation. If you guys have had something really bad happen this year, you guys are going to get your karmic justice. I also see that, um, your karmic pain is going to start slowly trickling in from the beginning of next year. It's not all going to come at once because next year is about rejuvenation for you. 
but it is coming. Okay. You're going to start seeing these blessings happen more and more and more because you guys have been through it and it's time for the universe to start paying you back. And the universe knows this, especially with justice here. If you've been, um, having a crush on a Libra or trying to kind of romance a Libra or somebody with a strong Libra placement, something can happen with them next year. Um, but I'm just seeing a lot of balance happening in your life. A lot of balance as we have the moon in reverse, it's just going to be a really good time to heal. Um, maybe from 2020 or from some terrible things that have happened even before it, uh, heal some other karmic things that maybe you have taken on from past lives. We have judgment here, guys. So a lot of really good, like, um, divine things are going to be happening for you with here. I'll move these down for you guys with judgment here. Okay. Like listen to your intuition because there's going to be angels around you. There's going to be spirit guides, whatever higher power you believe in. Even if you don't believe in angels or spirit guides, you are going to be surrounded by the divine. So again, with imagine and reverse and co-create with spirit, um, this is reaffirming that this is going to be an amazing year for manifestation. Tell the universe what you want. Tell your higher power what you want and what you expect out of life. They will start working on it for you. Okay. They will give it to you. We have a page of pinnacle in reverse. Um, so I am seeing that if you currently have a job and you're wondering if it's going to stay steady, uh, the answer is yes. And for those of you who are looking for a job or um, you've been having some kind of financial frustrations, if you've been let go of your job and you wish you weren't, that job might be taking you back because the page of pinnacles is a new energy and it is in reverse. Um, or you need to do something within the field that you're already working in, okay? We also have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So I do see here that there is still going to be some perceivably negative karma that's still going to be kind of sticking around because you're not quite out of this cycle yet. Um, so it is a possibility that this cycle has started maybe this year um, or within the past two years. You are starting to turn on the wheel of fortune however it is still upside down so for me the wheel of fortune is kind of like a compass there is a north and a south and when it's upright it means karmic happiness karmic abundance um very wonderful positive things and when it is in reverse, this often lets me know that we can be in karmic cycles that are extremely, extremely hard, okay? But you guys are definitely going to be getting your break next year. We also have the Page of Cups. So for those of you who've been wanting a lover or a love interest, I do see that somebody is going to be confessing to you. They could be a Pisces. We have Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, you are going to be having a hard time with options during this time because it is a time for you to focus on yourself, your own happiness, and also possibly family and loved ones around you. Okay, guys? Um, so this is going to be a time that might be frustrating because you're not going to be able to move forward in the way you want, but this is a blessing in disguise because this is really going to help your growth. And the last one, we have the sun in reverse. So uh, this one is kind of funny to get when it comes to uh, karmic blessings. Uh, basically, they're just saying like, hey, this is going to be a dark night of the soul. And it's not going to be easy, but when you come out of it, like 10 out of 10, you are going to be a very powerful being. You are going to remember who you are. You're going to be remembering all your strength and all your power and all the wonderful things that you're here to do. Um, so next year, the blessings that are coming for you are not going to be easy, but they are going to make you powerful, guys. This is going to be amazing, okay? I swear. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like a personalized reading, my email is down in the description box below. If you like this video, please comment on it because your comments mean a lot to me and I love going through them. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on that bell notification so you can catch my videos every single week. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.
So to whoever picked pile number two, which is fluorite, let's see all the positive karmic blessings coming your way in 2021. Positive karmic blessings are coming in 2021 for those who pick pile number two. Let me adjust the camera real quick. All right. The last one. Karmic blessings coming in 2021. All right, guys, good news. With flexible and reverse, you do not have to be flexible about anything happening in your life anymore. Um, everything you want, everything you needed to happen is gonna happen. Okay, guys, like we're here for it. I do see here with time to go upright, your life is finally going to be moving forward in the way that you've wanted. Your dreams are going to start coming true. Um, you're no longer going to have to, um, heal from things. I do see that your healing process is going to be over or um, you are going to have a break from that, okay guys? So if you've been healing a lot this year, if you've been going through a lot, if you've been going through a dark night of the soul, whatever it may be, um, this, you're finally going to have a mental break from this. It's going to be really good. With Yin here, I do see that there could be a lover in 2021 for you or there's a shit ton of self-love. All the love in your life is going to be really positive though, okay? From friends, from family, it's going to be really intense. It's going to be really wonderful. Your self-love is going to be amazing. I see it for you guys. I see that there's a lot of very positive stuff. And also when it comes to lovers, you don't have to be flexible about what kind of love you have in your life anymore because I do see that there might be somebody that you've been manifesting or a type of letter lover that you've been wanting that's going to be coming into your life okay we have time for a nap in reverse um so again i do see that you are finally going to be waking up you're going to be coming out of your hermit mode now this hermit mode can mean anything maybe you're going back to work maybe you're going back to school maybe you're just kind of putting yourself out there again um, or maybe, again, like you are starting to move forward in life, you are starting to follow your dreams more, you are starting to follow your aspirations more, doing more self-love and self-care things about like what your soul wants and your soul callings. Um, so these are going to be really wonderful for you. We have never-ending story in reverse. I do see here that you are going to be tying up loose ends. You are going to be leaving people behind that no longer serve you. You're going to be leaving behind situations that no longer serve you. All of these things are going to be extremely positive. I just see that you guys have been going through a transformation. You guys have been in your cocoons. You guys have been waiting for this for quite a while. And the universe has heard you. The universe has heard your prayers. The universe knows that this is what you need, okay? Um, we have 10, 9, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we have 10 twice here, so you might be seeing 10, 10. Or um, you might be seeing 10 recently on the clock, um, on receipts, on license plates, things like that. Okay, we have 10 again. We have six and we have two. Okay, so you guys got a lot of 10s here. Okay, so you might be seeing ones and zeros or you might be seeing 10s. Pay attention to that. On the bottom, we have truth be told. You guys have known that you were going through this awakening for some time. You guys have been ready. You guys might be laying in bed at night, even crying sometimes. Like, why? When is this going to happen? When is this finally going to happen? Where is my breakthrough? Guys, it's happening. It's happening. Okay. Be patient. Co-create with spirit right now because that's going to help you a lot guys your this is the perfect time to manifest this is a beautiful time for you to manifest what you want in 2021 because in 2021 that's what the universe is going to start bringing you that's what you're going to start heading towards 
Um, did want to put this one here as well. And then we have in the middle, we have Yang in the reverse. So um, one thing you are going to have to focus on in 2021 is not to get too much into your yin energy because if you're too much into your yin energy, um, then we start uh, giving too much of ourselves away. Um, we start kind of getting a little too comfortable. Maybe we're practicing uh, things that we love a little too much to the point where it can be unhealthy. Um, you know, just kind of staying in our comfort zone as well. We could be giving too, too many presents. We could be, uh, trying to be people pleasers too much. So try to balance your yang energy with your yin energy. Um, yang energy can seem like, uh, anger or frustration or sexual desires a lot of the time, but it is very important to balance your masculine energy with your feminine energy, um, in order to stay rooted in life. Okay, guys, we also have by the book here. So this is letting me know that's something you have applied for. If you just keep going, uh, through the steps, like step by step, you are going to get there perfectly fine. I do feel like, um, if you guys have been trying to achieve something, you guys already know how to achieve it. You guys already know, um, what you need to do in order to get there. Just, just do that. Okay. You guys know best. Um, for others of you, I feel like if you guys are like kind of struggling at work or school, just kind of do everything basic by the handbook. If you can, you don't have to get too crazy. You don't have to get, you know, too creative about it because this is something that, um, not everybody is going to appreciate the work you put into it. Even if to you, you put in a lot of work. Okay. Um, also by the, the book, some of your uh, romantic relationships might be more of a, um, classical, um, or traditional kind of romance. We have loyal heart in reverse. So I do see here that, um, you might be getting closure from somebody who has broken your heart or left you, or you might be finding out about or somebody who, um, you've been needing to cut off for a while, but you've been kind of putting it off. Uh, and you find out they kind of did something. And so you're kind of like, okay, now I can finally get rid of them. And I especially see that here with serendipity in reverse. Um, there are still going to be hard times during 2021. So even though you have this amazing transformation, you're moving forward, um, you're getting out of your hermit zone. You still need to, um, remember that each moment is fleeting and you're here right now. And you're never going to have these moments back again. Uh, so just try to ground yourself and remember your happiness. Okay, guys? Let's see if there's anything else. Good karma coming in 2021. All right, with the five of swords. You guys have been through it. You guys have been through the battle. But your guides are saying, the universe is saying... Uh, your good karma is finally coming guys. The clouds are going to part. The battle is over. It's time to just go home and live your life. You don't have to do this anymore. Okay. With the 10 of wands in reverse, you don't have to carry all your own problems anymore. It's going to be over. Um, but we do have the moon in reverse. So this doesn't mean that you won't like, Okay. It doesn't mean that you can still ignore your emotions, right? Or working on your emotions or working on past hurts. This is something that still needs to be done. Um, and also going into early 2021, um, if you're kind of like, okay, like, where is this? Like Ash, Ash said that this was going to happen, but it's February. Um, it can kind of phase into that. Okay. Because I do see some of you guys are still trying to wrap up your emotional work, your emotional healing, your shadow work, things like that. So be patient with it. Be patient with yourself. We have the Hierophant in reverse. There's nothing traditional about your life in 2021. It's going to be very exciting. We have five of Pentacles in reverse. You are not going to be left out in the cold anymore. You are going to be taking your life back by the reins. You are going to be surrounding yourself with people who you really love. It's just going to be a very wonderful year for you guys. We have eight of Pentacles here. I do see that you're going to have a lot of work come into your way, and it's going to be work that makes you feel passionate and excited to work on. Um, and we also have Page of Cups here. So again, I do think that there is going to be some sort of love offering for you guys. Very exciting. 
Um, and four of cups in reverse, do not second guess yourself. Okay. Your intuition is going to be your best friend. If you feel like something is not for you, it's not for you. Don't accept it. Don't accept it just because you're afraid you're going to miss an opportunity. You're not going to be missing any opportunities. Okay. Um, you know exactly what kind of opportunities are for you. So do what feels best because this is going to be a year of self progression and self love. Um, and don't, don't worry that you're passing on too many opportunities or anything like that. Just feel it out. Okay. Because your intuition will guide you through that. And last we have the king. Oops. Last, we have the King of Pentacles. Your finances in 2021 are going to be extremely stable. They're going to be perfect. You're always going to have food on the table. You're always going to be able to afford rent. You guys are always going to be able to afford school, whatever you need to afford, and then some. Okay, you guys are going to be stable in 2021. Things are going to be really, really good. Uh, things are going to be really happy. Um, and just kind of enjoy that. Okay. I feel like this is like a treat year for you guys. Like you guys have worked really hard. You guys have been through it and you guys are just having a year where, um, you know, you were given everything that you need in order to grow, in order to flourish, in order to head towards your future and head towards your dreams. Um, and this is something that you should really take advantage of because you deserve it. Okay, guys. All right, if you enjoyed this video, quick reminder that I do offer personalized readings. My email is down below, hollynashtayro at gmail.com. Um, please email me and I will send you my price list. Um, please comment down below because I love to hear your opinions and I love to respond to your comments. If this video connected with you, please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click that notification bell so you can see my new readings. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Hello, hello. Hello to my people that picked pile number three. Let's see what good karma is coming your way in 2021. Just want to cleanse the deck for a second here. Ooh, I see you have a soulmate coming in. Well, what just happened? Okay. Good karma coming in 2021 for my pile number threes. Okay, guys, I see a lot of really amazing things happening. I also see a couple of things that might be a little difficult, but are for self growth. Um, of course, there's always going to be a couple of, <laughs> a couple of things that happen every year that are not so great. Um, but we do have soulmates here, guys, you have a very important soulmate coming into your life. I see this could be somebody, uh, that is actually going to be a lover for you because we have the heart here on this penguin. And then we have the other one holding a key. So this one might be a romantic soulmate, um, but it's not going to be romantic for all of you guys. Soulmates can be friends. They can be family. Um, they can even be like, just people you really vibe with really well and connect with really well. They don't have to be romantic. Um, we do have chaos and conflict here. So I do think that you are, in 2021, you are going to be feeling some kind of mental chaos and inner internal conflict about something um, that is going to help you grow, okay? And now I know these like never seem great. Um, they're always... Every time I hear things like that, I'm like, oh, again, like, oh, this is so terrible. Um, but this is something that's really going to help you realize a lot of things, especially because we have all that glitters in reverse here. I do think that something is not going to work out for you. Uh, something is going to seem too good to be true and... Uh, it's not going to turn out great, or it might be a person that just doesn't turn out so great. And I think this is really going to hurt. Uh, but 
it didn't work out for a reason, okay? If it did work out, it wouldn't have been good for you. It wouldn't have been good for your life path. Um, so do keep that in mind that while this can seem as a curse, it's actually a blessing in disguise. And this is a part of good karma because this is kind of leading you down the road where you're going to succeed the most. We have exchanging gifts here. So I do think there, the universe is going to be giving you many gifts this year or in the year of 2021. Um, I also feel like you're probably going to receive a lot of gifts from friends and family. Uh, they don't have to be physical gifts. They could be like opportunities and things as well. Um, you can have the gift of love, the gift of new people in your life. I do see that you're also going to be in a good place where you're giving as well, giving to the people you love, giving to the people you care about, giving to yourself with round and round and reverse. You are going to be starting a new cycle. Um, so be careful to make sure that it is not a negative cycle and it is a positive cycle. So at the end of this year of uh, 2020, please take some time to try to uh, make some healthier coping, me coping mechanisms and habits for yourself because that's going to help you a lot in 2021. We also have not for you in reverse here. Uh, so this card is really good. If you've been trying extremely hard to succeed in something and it's just not working out for you, and if you're starting to wonder if like this is even going to work out, is it even for you, are you on the right path, you are on the right path, this is for you. There's some hiccups, but it's just because you are meant to uh, reach your goal in some other way, okay, guys? Um, so not for you is in reverse, which means it is for you. So if you've been wondering if something or someone is not for you, but you can't really tell because deep down you kind of feel like it is for you, that's because it is. And that's your intuition letting you know like, hey, this is really for you. As long as it's not genuinely hurting you really bad, as long as it's not creating a toxic environment, as long as it's not affecting any of your relationships, uh, then it is definitely for you. Okay, guys, some of you guys just really need to hang in there. We have come to the edge in reverse. So I do see um, as a part of your good karma for 2021, you're not going to have to go out of your comfort zone too much. I do feel like it is going to be very laid back. We have never ending story here. Um, there's going to be some relationships and some other things that are going to start ending in 2021, um, which can kind of break your heart sometimes, but this is going to be amazing for you. Okay. It's leaving room for growth. On the top, we have the tribe in reverse. Um, so all of this is like kind of preparing you to uh, get ready for meeting your soul tribe. And for those of you who have already met your soul tribe, then you might be taking a bit of a break from them just to explore some other people and some other soulmates in the year of 2021. But for those of you who have yet to meet your soul tribe, um, they are coming and this transformation is preparing you for that. I think pile number one was very similar. So um, go check that out if that popped out at you as well. We do have unfinished symphony here. So there's still going to be a lot of unfinished business here with never ending story and unfinished symphony that you're going to get a lot of closure on. I feel like people might come from the past uh, to apologize or to clear things up. I'm not saying you have to get back together with anybody or let them back into your life. Um, but I do see that 2021 is going to be a wonderful year for closure and for love. What other positive blessings are coming for you guys in 2021? Okay, we have two of wands here. You guys are going to start really seeing a clearer picture of your future. Um, we have two of pentacles in reverse. You're not going to have to juggle everything anymore. It's not going to be so frustrating, so stressful. I think things are going to slow down for a little bit and things are going to be better. Um, you are going to see a clear picture of your future, but you're not going to be moving forward right away, okay? Nothing really fast is going to happen. This is going to happen slow and steady, and this is the perfect thing uh, that could happen because it's going to allow you time to grow. It's going to allow you time to heal. It's going to allow you time to get closure for things. It's going to allow you time to do whatever you need to do. If you need to take classes, if you need to save up money, um, this is just going to be a very amazing progressional year, but it's also going to be very laid back and very nice. We have strength in reverse. You don't have to be strong anymore this year. This year is going to be so calming and so soothing for you guys because it's a new beginning. You guys are going to go into a new cycle, a new beginning. Um, and I also see with 
a six of wands here if you guys have been wanting to sign any paperwork or if you guys have been trying really hard to achieve something i am seeing victory okay so let's say if you wanted to get married if you wanted to get your degree um, if you wanted to get any other kind of certification, if you wanted to get, let's say, a visa, if you were trying to move to another country, you will succeed, guys. This is amazing energy, okay? Um, so just try to see things from a different point of view because obviously this is going to be so slow that you're going to often feel really stuck. Um, but if you start feeling stuck in the year 2021, just know that it's not stillness. This is good karma coming in so you can rest and just focus on all your things one at a time so you don't have to get overwhelmed. Um, so try to look at uh, that from that angle and also try to figure out what you can work on in the moment. Um, we do have the tower in reverse. I do see that this year has been very, very difficult for you guys. It might have been one of the worst years of your life. Um, and so this is saying like, don't worry, 2021 is going to be your building blocks. Okay. Um, so I do think the first and the mid half of 2021 are probably going to be really slow, but then we have the chariot here. Okay. So then things are going to start moving forward again. Um, so 20, the first two halves. Well, the first half and the middle half of 2021, should I say, um, it's just giving you enough time to start like you building new things or figuring out what you want to build, figuring out what you want to leave behind, what do you want to take with you, what kind of person do you want to be, what kind of people do you want to surround yourself, what is your dream job, what is, you know, like what do you want to learn? It's just going to give you a lot of time to think about things and then you're going to start moving towards the future that you've been looking at and looking towards, okay guys? And last, we have Six of Pentacles. You literally do not have to worry about anything because if anything bad ever happens, there's always going to be people who are going to help you and going to help pick you up. And if anything bad happens to them, you're always going to be in a position at the time to help them and help pick them up, okay? Everything is going to be really good. Everything is going to be fine. And we have the Fool here, okay? So get excited for a new beginning because you guys have a new adventure on the horizon, a new journey. And you guys might even be feeling that deep down. Um, so if you're starting to see like a tower moment, if you guys already had a tower moment, if you guys see things starting to fall away from your life, people start to fall away from your life, interests starting to fall away from your life, that is this new beginning, um, starting to peek through. And if you haven't seen things fall away from your life yet, you probably will in the beginning of 2021. Don't freak out. This is happening for a reason. And um, this is your good karma coming in, okay? So like us as humans, especially when we lead with our emotions, we don't really understand all the time. Um, when bad things happen, we just think it's bad karma, bad luck. Um, you know, we're being punished. Um, but really a lot of the times the universe will take people and things out of our lives because they are making us miserable or they are hurting us or they're just not for our higher good. Um, so when these things happen, it's okay to be upset. It's okay to mourn the loss of something, but just remember that this is for a reason. This is so you can have a much happier life. All right. So if you enjoyed this video and if you would like more information on a personal level, I offer personalized readings. My email is down below in the description box. Please send me an email and I will book a reading with you. If you enjoyed this video, please comment down below what you thought because I love reading your comments and I love responding to them. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and press that bell notification so you can get notifications every time I post new videos. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.